During its EU presidency, one of the issues the Netherlands promotes is open science. Important aspects of open science are open access to scientific publications and the optimal reuse of data generated by research. But what does this actually mean for citizens and businesses? Open science is all about yes, uh, shortening the time to discovery and to yes, uh, make uh, the better use out of knowledge. For example, during the Ebola outbreak, uh, it was important that researchers started uh, sharing the data from all over the place, so it was easier for other researchers to take the data and move on develop it, developing the vaccine. The same thing is happening now with Zika. Open access allows you to, without going through lots of legal or juridical aspects, to go to the results of others, share it, learn from it, and build your research upon it. The more parties commit to open access, the greater its success. The Open Science Conference in Amsterdam involves, among others, researchers, publishers, educational and research institutes in the next step, a call for action, whereby the European Commission, national authorities and stakeholders from the world of science can together take concrete steps. State Secretary Sander Decker and Commissioner Carlos Moidas, staunch advocates of open science, emphasize the importance of taking the next step. It's important to take a next step because we witness several countries working on open access, but if we really want to go far, we have to do it together. You need countries to collaborate, you need scientists to open up their work in a way that they never did before. So going from this paradigm of actually pay to read to a paradigm of free to read. During the conference, participants discuss various aspects of open science, such as better agreements concerning scientific publications between researchers, their organizations, research funders and publishers, but also, for example, adapting evaluation systems so that researchers are stimulated to share data and reuse someone else's data. In separate sessions, experts in all these fields prepare the next steps. The difficulty is that the projects that are funded are mostly nationally funded. They are used by the whole wide world, but the funding is limited to the nations. So my recommendation would be to make sure that the funders of the different nations sit together and come to a coordinated approach. Researchers' recognition is based on publications, so what we need is a new model of recognitions and rewards for individual researchers to really engage in open science. My main idea will be to depart from the current regime of the subscription system, remove the money from the subscriptions and reinvest the equal amount of money for open access related publishing services. At the end of the conference, the call for action is presented to the European Commission and State Secretary Decker. This call for action is extremely important for two reasons. First of all, it's a very powerful political signal to me and my colleagues in Europe. And secondly, this agenda contains very concrete steps and ideas on how to move the open access agenda forward. This call for action is input for the ministerial meeting at the end of May in Brussels. And I hope it will inspire my colleagues in Europe to come up with a very ambitious agenda on open science and open access.